No grounds. <gasps> oh. Oh my. By the war, every corner of the world was touched. The humans. Yeah, fuck it. We just let's play a little bit longer. We're in northern Italy. Northern Italy. Italy and Austria-Hungary are landlocked among the Alps. Raised by snow-capped mountains and the other side can find a way to dislodge their enemy. Regular to force to dig in and reinforce positions. Meanwhile, an elite mountaineer regiment prepares an unorthodox assault. This unit specializes in high-risk tactics. They are called the Arditi. Arditi motto, O la victoria o tutti apocalypti. Translation, we either win or we all die. Fair dues, fair dues. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together. Just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We oh, changed the big ass gun. Italy. The Arditi. Avant Savoia. Hey. <laughs> hey, Zender. I, mean, I know I just put in the, the, the Discord if anyone wants to join them. Just probably going to play for another half hour or so. Shit, we just do a big heavy gunner, are we? How are we doing? How's the XL homework, man? While Matteo was pushing forward, <laughs> I had to fight. Yeah, you're the probably the only one who saw it. You're probably the only one who's in the Discord right now. Hearing <laughs> a story makes me worry for you. Don't worry, I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the nice, nice. The troops had fought. GGs, man. GGs. To fight them first. Well done, man. Well done. Well done. Shooting up a graveyard. It was wartime, man, so I can't imagine, can't imagine there was a lot of luck when it came to Thank you. 
Should I go take? Holy oh, shit. Uh, this is Battlefield 1, man. It's um, basically set during, well, stories that happened in World War 1. were some foot soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. So yeah, it is quite intense, man. Like, fucking, like, this, this shit, like, kind of, like, pretty much happened. I, 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 like, love a lot of shit about, like, the World War, but I don't know a lot about World War One to be fair. Yeah, it is fucking intense. Battlefield 1, um, there is... Yeah, um, Battlefield's always been known for pretty cool, um, games, um... They do a lot of mo their next game is obviously a modern thing, but and it, there is a multiplayer. I don't know if multiplayer is your kind of thing. Are you more into like story type shit? It's like obviously it has a lot of story and stuff. Geez is literally running at me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like these type of games are cool. Like, got a like story with a bit of history behind it. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort. Right. Yeah. Fall guys. Sure Fall guys is quite fun. I'm. It was alright. I didn't. I didn't mind the gun move. Uh, Fall guys. I haven't played it since like that. Yeah, first came out. So. Okay. It looks like we just. So we're aiming towards getting towards that mark. There we go. Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery can remain. So I had to take it down. Go.
I got, I, I've got a suit of armor. Like, I've got, like, a suit of armor which stops me from... Yeah, I'll probably, probably have a hack then on. But yeah, I have a suit of armor, and that's why I can, like, pull up. I don't know if you can change the view, I don't... No, you can't change the view. Well, if I can change the view to third person, just to kind of... Stop the bastard. Brutal. Intriguing. The only way to ensure that men were safe was to blow up the gun itself. I mean... Pick the fucking dino.
did it. When we did it. That explosion was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. The gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. There you go. If you Zender, if you want to see what I look like, I got like shitload of armor on. They were targeting Mateo's unit below me, so I do the only thing I can. Shoot the fucking thing. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. would be completely halted, and I would have lost my tail. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Died. Lasts a little bit longer now, isn't it? There we go, we lasted it. We made it. Were you still safe behind your armor? Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it. But then the planes veered away. Fucking GG's, man. We won. Well, kind of won.
Well, we know he survived because he's the one telling the story right now, so... Well, survived to tell his daughter at some point. Probably going to jump off in a sec. Just, like, let it get to the next story mission and then I'll, um... Well, not story mission. We're still all on the same story. I'm not going to finish this story tonight. Because we then we've got another two stories after this. I think we've got, um... One that's, I don't know where the next one is, but one set in the desert with Lawrence or a late Arabia, so. But yeah, we won't finish, we finished the first and the second one. This is the third story mission, so. <coughs> when I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh, God. Mateo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. <laughs> 